Ninth grade, chapter 10, lesson 2, customary capacity. Unlock the problem. So basically, we're going to basically do what we did yesterday. A lot of same type of problems, except for today's going to be capacity and not length. Mara has a can of paint with three cups of purple paint in it. She also has a bucket with a capacity of 26 fluid ounces. Will the bucket hold all of the paint Mara has? The capacity of a container is the amount the container can hold. So what capacity does Mara need to convert? So first of all, we know she has the three cups, right? So she has the three cups. And then she wants to know if it's going to fit in a 26 fluid ounce container. And then we'll the back to hold all the paint. So what capacity does Mara, Mara need to convert? So what are we doing? Cups to fluid ounces. So three cups to fluid ounces. After Mara converts the units, what does she need to do next? That's what she's going to do to find it, but she's going to compare what she gets, right? So compare the amount of paint with the fluid ounces the bucket will hold. Alright, so then one cup equals how many fluid ounces? So how many ounces are there in a cup? Remember, this is where you can use your math folder. How many ounces are there in a fluid cup? Or how many, yeah, how many ounces Eight. are there in a cup? Eight. Remember, three cups to fluid ounces. So we know that there are eight fluid ounces in each cup, and so they did the little model, and then they put eight in each little box, because there's three of them, so eight times three is 24. 24, so over here they did three times eight equals 24, compare with less than, equal to, greater than, so how many fluid ounces did we get? 24, so 24 fluid ounces is less than, less than 26 fluid ounces, since 24 four fluid ounces is less. less than 26 fluid ounces, Mara's bucket will or will not? Will not. Will hold all of the paint. Because her bucket holds 26 and she only had 24, so it will hold all of it. What if Mara has seven cups of green paint and a container filled with 64 fluid ounces of yellow paint? Which color of paint does Mara have more of? Explain your reasoning. So basically, we need to draw our line, right? Because, now what do we need to do? We already converted this three cups of purple to 24 ounces, right? What do we need to do next? Okay, so this time we're going to take 7 times what? Mm -hmm. 7 times 3? Times 8. Times 8, because there's 8 ounces in a cup, and we have 7 cups. So 7 times 8 equals 56. So which one would she have more of? Yellow. Yellow. So yellow because 7 times 8 is 56, which is what? Greater than. Which is less than 64. And 24 is what, guys? Is less than 64 as well. Example, Coral made 32 pints of fruit punch for a party. She needs to transport the punch in one gallon containers. 
how many containers does coral need? So over here, they've given us a little chart that tells us how many ounces are in a cup, how many cups are in a pint, how many pints are in a quart, and how many quarts are in a gallon. So it says to convert a smaller unit to a larger unit, you need to divide. And sometimes you need to convert more than once. Okay, so just like yesterday, smaller unit to larger unit, you're going to divide. Larger unit to a smaller unit, you're going to multiply. Okay, so write an equation to convert pints. So there's 32 total pints. How many pints are in a quart? Two. Two. And then we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So we're going to what? Divide. So then equals. So 32 divided by 2 equals. What times 2 gets us 32, guys? 16. 16, right? But now we need to do another problem, right? So we're in equation to convert quarts to gallons. So how many total quarts did we have? 16. 16. And we're going from quarts to gallons. So are we going to multiply or divide? Yeah. Multiply. Multiply? Multiply. Divide. Divide, because quarts are smaller than gallons, right? So 16 divided by how many quarts are there in a gallon? Four. Two. Four. So 16 divided by four is? Four. So coral needs four one-gallon containers to transport the punch. Use the picture to complete the statement. Convert three quarts to pints. One quart equals how many pints? Two. Two. One quart is length than one pint. Less than. More than. Three. Three. What is it, guys? Greater than. Right? Greater than one pint. Three quarts. So now we need to decide, are we doing multiplication or division? Multiplication. Wait, multiplication times, we said two, right? So three quarts times two pints. Two pints is one quart equals six pints. Okay, so now they want us to convert. So we have three gallons, and they want us to convert it into pints. So how many pints do I have in a gallon? So one gallon equals what? Four. Well, this is where we might have to have a multi-step, right? So one pint equals how many quarts? Equals two quarts. No, four quarts. So, sorry, I wrote that backwards. So, equals four quarts, and then how many, one quart equals what? How many pints? Two pints. Two pints. So, in this case, you're going to have to take two times four, which is? Eight. Eight times three, which is? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So that one was kind of like our multi-step that we did up here for converting the pints into gallons. All right, five quarts into pints. Can we go straight into that, or do we need to do a couple of problems? This one we can go straight into it, right? So one pint equals what? Did I write that right? No. What do I need to write, guys? One quart. One quart equals what? Two pints. Two pints. So this time we're going to take two times five and get ten. Six quarts into cups. Can I go straight from quarts to cups? No. But we do know that so one quart equals what? Two pints. Equals two pints. And then one pint equals? Eight cups. Mm, two cups. Equals two cups. 
So in this case, I have to take 2 times 2, which is 4 times 6 is 24. 24. All right. Okay, so on your own, they want us to do 38 cups into pints. So are we going larger to smaller or smaller, smaller to large? Smaller to bigger, right? So in this case, we're going to divide. divide. So one pint equals what? Two cups. Equals two cups. So what is 38 divided by two? Eighteen. Not eighteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Okay, so on these you're going to have to decide if you're dividing or if you're going to multiply, right? Okay, let's look down here. You don't have to do this. Number seventeen. 28 cups compared to 14 pints. So we could just convert this into what? Cups, right? So one pint equals how many cups? Two cups. So 14 times two is? 28. So they are equal to. Okay. All right. So you guys are going to do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two with your partners. Number twenty-three. Write math. Which of exercises seventeen through twenty-two could you solve mentally? Explain your answer for one exercise. So what can we do? Can we have done number nine mentally? Yeah. Yep. So we know that what. 7 times 8 equals 56. Well, do you know how many pints are in a gallon? Yes. yes. Do you know that right off the bat, though? No. Yes. No. You would say that we know there are how many quarts in a gallon? Four. Four quarts in a gallon. And how many pints in a quart? And two pints in a quart. So two times four equals eight, and seven times eight equals what? Fifty-six. 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 Hi.